Throne and Liberty was first announced in 2011 under the Lineage Eternal title as a direct competitor to Lost Ark. In 2017, six years later, NCSoft repurposed Lineage Eternal into Project TL, a top-down isometric MMO, and then again into Throne and Liberty years later. And while the game has been in active development now for over 13 years, it has remained a title that many players have been looking forward to, partly due to its ties to the popular Lineage franchise, and partly due to its resemblance to Black Desert Online. In 2019, Bandai Namco revealed Blue Protocol to the world, and it became an immediate hit. Over the next few years, it would go on to become one of the most anticipated MMOs of the 2020s. In 2023, Amazon Game Studios confirmed that it would be publishing both MMOs to the global market. Throne in Liberty before Blue Protocol, but both within 2023. This left players a little bit concerned. On the one hand, many players criticized Amazon for their handling of Lost Ark. On the other hand, Players, myself included, thought that releasing two different MMOs within a short span of one another might lead to one game cannibalizing the player base of the other, possibly inhibiting the success of both. And that very well could be a potential future, if Amazon ever released the damn games. Both titles have been delayed by Amazon so frequently that it isn't even certain whether we'll be able to play both before 2025 comes around. At the beginning of 2023, Blue Protocol and Throne and Liberty made up the majority of what players were excited for. And in the mere span of a year, they have destroyed any and all hype for their games by delaying, altering, and then proceeding to go silent. And the silence is what's the most alarming of all. Before we discuss why that is, I do want to take a moment here to thank all of my incredible patrons over on Patreon. You guys are phenomenal, and I cannot thank you all enough for the support. Now let's begin with Throne and Liberty. Navigating on over to their website, we see a grand total of five different news articles posted since Amazon confirmed their publishing deal. Throne and Liberty Technical Test posted on June 8, 2023. This was their Technical Test announcement post. Welcome to Throne and Liberty posted the same day with a brand new global trailer. Confidential Technical Test announcement posted on the 29th of August, 2023. This was a test phase that ran under an NDA, which meant no content or information could be shared. This test ran from September 19 through October 3rd. Confidential Tech Test Thank You posted the 3rd of October, 2023. This was a thank you for participating in the first major global test. Technical Test Recap, posted on October 18, 2023, with a small recap of the test phase. Honestly, largely pointless. That's it. That is the communication that was given via their official website. Hey, you know what? We're live, followed by, we're holding a test, followed further by, <laughs> the test is over. Yeah. No additional information given in over four months, with the only information the six months prior to this large absence of communication telling us a single test was happening. The official social media platforms for the game have been silent for the same duration, with their last tweet only achieving 270 likes. Yeah, that, uh, that bodes well for the game. This doesn't really reinforce a sense of comfort from us. It has been eight months, and little to no information has been released. It's been eight months, and we've suffered nothing but setbacks and excuses. But you know what? That's just Throne and Liberty. Let's take a look at Amazon's other gem, Blue Protocol, an MMO that I have personally been hyping since 2019. Navigating on over to the official Blue Protocol website, we see a grand total of eight blog posts. This is a little better than the five we had for Throne and Liberty. Welcome to Blue Protocol, posted on December 8, 2022. Yeah, that was really 14 months ago. This was accompanied by their official global trailer. The Road to Launch posted the very same day, confirming a release date in 2023, which was later updated in May 2023 to reflect the delay into 2024. We'll check back here later this year when the game is ultimately delayed into 2025 to see if they make the same update. Announcing Blue Protocol posted the same day where they went on to include a trailer and detail what the game was. Honestly, not a, a, a bad blog post at all. Global Team Update, posted May 24, 2023, where they confirmed the Japanese launch date and their delay into 2024. They also revealed the first global closed beta test would be happening in 2023, which turned out to be true. Meanwhile in Japan, Episode 1, posted June 2, 2023, with some updates from Japan and a further confirmation of the delay into 2024, along with the reasoning... <clears throat> We want to take the time to address player feedback and ensure that we capture the changes for the Western launch. 
the player feedback that they heard was, oh, we want the game to be censored. Yeah, c come on, Amazon, censor our game. Remove the booba slider. Remove the skirts from the game. Real women don't wear skirts. <laughs> Damn you guys for requesting these features be removed. You're all terrible human beings. Or, you know what? Maybe in retrospect, just thinking back here, maybe it was Asmund's fault for playing with the sliders in front of tens of thousands of people. Unironic boob jiggle button. Hey, the game let you do it. It's not my fault the game let you do it. Yeah. Meanwhile, in Japan, episode 2, posted June 14th, 2023. At this juncture, it, it seemed as though Amazon wanted to continue to update players with the progress that was being made on the Japanese servers, but for whatever reason, gave up after this episode. Yeah, good job, Amazon. You keep being you. Almost an entire year later, Join the Blue Protocol Closed Technical Test, posted November 1st, 2023, which announced the first global technical test for the game, running from November 8th through November 10th. Mrs. Six and I both got to participate in this, although we're not allowed to disclose our experiences, since much like Throne and Liberty, this was under an NDA. Thank you for joining the closed technical test, posted November 13th, 2023, was much like Throne and Liberty, a thank you for joining the test and the message further telling us that we are not allowed to share anything, which we would never do. Navigating on over to the official Blue Protocol Twitter page, it's even worse than Throne and Liberty. They didn't even repost the blog content, rather the last tweet was made back in July 2023, with retweets of various gaming news outlets sucking their dick, because they need all the positive publicity they can get. It has been seven months of silence from them on social media, seven entire months. That is absolutely crazy. Neither Throne and Liberty, nor Blue Protocol have been in any kind of contact with their communities. They haven't been sharing updates. They haven't even reaffirmed that the games are still coming in 2024. Throne and Liberty was confirmed to be releasing before Blue Protocol, which makes it even worse for those of us not interested in Throne and Liberty. With how disconnected Amazon are from their players, Throne and Liberty could launch in November and Blue Protocol could end up delayed into 2025, who knows? The silence from Amazon is concerning. The lack of communication is very unprofessional. We don't need to be told when the first public beta tests for each game are going to happen. We just want confirmation that the games are in fact approaching these dates. Because at present, it's seeming less and less likely. We're all waiting for a new MMO to play. Both of these games were supposed to offer us something new to satiate that thirst that we have, but has been left unfulfilled. And that thirst doesn't look like it'll be quenched anytime soon. Well, at least we have Revelation Mobile and Moonlight Blade Mobile, which both just released, right?